Hey there guys, welcome back to Shock and Awe Gaming, this is Silent Protagonist. We are back with another episode of Cyrilim 2. Uh, I still think I'm pronouncing that right, still not positive. Let's look here, when we last left off, we had just made it through that, uh, the first, uh, realm level. And we had gotten a quest. There is a... Boss on the third realm depth. Now, I still have not taken the time to look at the library. Um, I'm gonna ignore that for right now. I'm gonna take a look at these here, figure out what I want on each. You can just put that on the wrong person. He's so slow. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're gonna go back to round depth one. Oh, no, we can. There we go, up and down. We can actually go straight to round depth two, it looks like. Oh, and it's actually a pack of creatures. That's cool. That's not. <laughs> this you just uh kick me into full level the half. Huh. Okay. Ah, <clears throat> oh, that doesn't sound bad at all. Oh. Go. 
I'm assuming that was all the stats going up, but it, it still doesn't show us what that is. Okay, um... Now, I was kind of thinking a little bit before, because uh, I was trying to remember what exactly this game actually reminded me of. I know last uh, last episode I mentioned that this game kind of reminded me of Realm of the Mad God. What I can almost say even more, it reminds me of an RPG Maker game. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with RPG Maker, it's a uh, development program that came out of Japan um, for creating kind of retro, this style um, RPGs. This this reminds me of it to a T. I've done a, a bit of development in it. Um, I've done a little bit of work in it myself in the past. I, I had a couple of their different versions. Um, it was never the thing I, I was the biggest fan of, though. That's cool. Okay, intercept will stun. That's interesting.
assume I can't extract either. Oh, I can extract them both. Okay. Shot too. That sniper is extremely strong. So looks like my main character hit level four. I'm still not exactly sure what that does though. Coast Watcher. The uh, sorcery rebukes from my Wampa Tanger more or less killed their whole team. That was pretty cool. He, he seems really squishy, but that whenever he attacks and hits, or is attacked and is hit, casting a random spell is really, really, really useful. Okay, well, Provoke didn't do anything, so I have no idea what the purpose of that is. Buffs and debuffs. He used both. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what provoke does. Provoke seems wholly useless on its own. Teleporter. Oh, looks like I can't destroy those. Stalagmites. 
I believe. Unless I'm horribly forgetting my geology. I believe those are stalagmites, at least stalagmites are the ones that hang from the ceiling. Assuming these are just more creatures that I actually can't capture for my own use, then that would make the most sense. Okay, that's bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. Why the fuck can they provoke intercept while well, mine can't? As far as I can tell, it looks like that's either something that needs to be fixed because it's a bug, or they need to uh, they need to kind of pull their heads out of their asses and explain how the fuck this actually works. Everything else seems great so far, but that's bullshit. Alright, so I am going ahead and I'm collecting all of this. Okay, can extract that one. Alright, it looks like Favor is kind of... Maybe it can do Reputation with Factions in other games? Because if, if I wanted to really compare it to anything, I might compare it to... Like, Farming Reputation with the Faction in 
maybe a game like World of Warcraft or something. It's kind of interesting. There's nothing down here. what the item itself does, I'm just not sure why. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll figure that out eventually. of Rackman's Teleportation Shrine. Okay. Okay, so apparently you get deity points by leveling up your character. Curious. 
guess that's the only other thing we really have to try for provoke. I did just reorder my party a little bit, as you noticed. I'm wondering if provoke only protects adjacent creatures. Exacerbate. Yeah, it does look like I have room for six, so I'm gonna pick one here. Which is always crazy. Oh, that's why he was dodging everything. That is nuts. If I knew what Grace was, that might be even better. Always provokes. Come on, get a stronghold. <laughs> Yeah, let's see here. He'll protect them, I guess. Seems like it'll probably be the best option at the moment. Um, I think. I don't have any other quests right now, do I? No. Let's try this alteration spell. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to do. Um, my best guess before using it, since it wasn't explained. Um, I'm guessing it might just reset the dungeon floor. Nope. No, it looks like it just forces the next zone to be the Arachnid Nest again. Um, so I guess that, that is kind of useful. Um, it means I can find whatever that god's name was whenever I want to. Actually, was not positive about that. Yo, it clearly didn't protect the creature next to him. Okay, he did intercept at that time. Maybe this is not guaranteed, I don't know. <clears throat> whole thing seems wonky to me. A little bit. I think I need to get a level, which is nice.
Excuse me. <laughs> that was quite a big chunk of damage that that uh, skeletal sniper did there. him from doing that stuff. Maybe it's not considered a spell? I do find it kind of interesting that your stuff all heals between each fight um, without you doing anything. It's kind of nice, it removes the need for things like healing items for outside of combat or other places to heal, like in the castle or something. Those, those don't seem to be necessary in this game. Uh, which I actually like a lot. I, as, as much as I enjoy how the Pokemon franchise does things, this seems to just be a little bit more convenient. Saves a little bit of time. And it makes, it makes sense with how the game is structured as opposed to having to battle trainer after trainer, leader after leader. I, as long as I'm a step ahead, I can run away from the enemies forever in this.
Oh, there. Statue. But we'll definitely visit that before leaving the realm. Alright, so there's a mimic there. There's a teleporter stone. Let's go take out that mimic. Freezing one of us. There we go. Already thought. Looks like I got an exalted emblem from that chest, which is cool. I'm pretty sure we're probably close to... ...200 power at this point. That would be my guess at the very least, based on the rewards I've been finding.
kind of wish there was some way to look around that map, but oh well. Uh, no, it's a piece of advice, okay. Well, it doesn't look like we had quite enough favor scattered around here to... ...rank up. That's not the worst thing in the world. I guess right now... We're going to go ahead and teleport to, I'll teleport to the third depth, but guys, we are going to take care of that and challenge that boss next time when we return for another uh, round of Serial 2. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Hey there guys, did you enjoy this video? If you did, be sure to leave us a comment down below in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It really means a lot to us. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.